guys, and today we're gonna be talking about more idiots, but perhaps just one idiot. Now, I think that maybe after my last video, people thought I, I just might have been attacking one particular type of person, but you should know by now that I will call out all idiots on any side of the fence, anywhere. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I've done tons of stupid things in my life. I've been burned things that I've paid for or made really stupid articles calling things sexist that aren't, but you know, I'm not trying to say that I'm perfect. However, today we're gonna be talking about a special kind of stupid, and that special kind of stupid is Gwyneth Paltrow and goop. Now, for those of you who don't know, Gwyneth Paltrow for a few years has been kind of unusual. I can't exactly remember the year that I realized that Gwyneth Paltrow was insane, but let me let me try to find a news article that I first saw. All right, it's, a, it's as late as 2016, but I feel like I knew about this before then. But it was whenever she posted that, that smoothie recipe that if you actually broke down everything in the smoothie, it would be a $200 smoothie. Not, not total, not like, oh, if you buy all the ingredients, it'll cost 200 out the gate, but then that'll do ya for many months of smoothies. No, if you, if all the ingredients together would be $200. Cause there's all sorts of like weird crap in it, like moon dust rocks or something and just weird, weird, just weird crap like that. That's supposed to help center your body and help with mentality and stuff, which apparently it's not working if Gwyneth Paltrow is, uh, using it. Here we go. Action dust, moon juice, $55. Brain dust, moon juice, $55. Good night dust, because you know, when I'm waking up in the morning and want a smoothie, I also want something in it that's called good night dust. But what do I know? Spirit dust, $65. It's gonna cost you a, a little bit extra for the spirit, about $10 extra for the spirit. And who can forget sex dust? So that was like the first time I realized that Gwyneth Paltrow was probably a little bit insane, but I was like, you know what? Sometimes people get rich and they don't know what to spend their money on. And it's sometimes it's this and sometimes it's torturing people. So if this is the alternative, Sure, but then it got worse. Then you realize that not only is Gwyneth Paltrow making these stupid choices for herself, she's also advocating them for everyone else in the world. And it's not just weird dusts and things that you consume, which you really shouldn't consume these. It's stuff that you're supposed to put up your hoo-ha. Now this is kind of more in my, in my recent sphere of memory because they just had to pay out a $145,000 lawsuit because of false scientific claims on their products. Basically, they, they, they put out these products, they say they do all of these things without any kind of scientific backing, and it just preys upon, unfortunately, really stupid people. If you go to this website and you look at this stuff and see what it says it's supposed to do, you're, you're stupid. It, it's like the little allergy bracelets, but to the extreme, because they're spending like multiple hundreds of dollars on things that, you know, at best, might give you a stomach ache and at worst, could actually kill you. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody died trying the bee sting therapy, Gwyneth Paltrow, there are not enough bees left in the world for you to be peddling this bullshit. But anyways, lawsuit, $145,000 for making unscientific claims. Most specifically, this lawsuit was dealing with the vaginal eggs. Had you, oh, you haven't heard about the vaginal eggs? You haven't heard about the $66 jade vaginal egg or the $55 rose quartz vaginal egg? If you are looking for a discount, well, I'm here to tell you all about them. Probably. Let's look at what the Goop website says. Yes, that's what they decided to name their company, Goop. So the jade egg specifically is uh, used by women to increase sexual energy and pleasure. This nephrite jade stone helps connect the second chakra, the heart, for you uh, un uncultured folk, and yoni for optimal self-love and well-being. I think if you're getting to the point that you need a jade egg to find self-love. I think you need a therapist. You clearly have enough money for one, so. Please be sure to follow the instructions included with your egg. Eggs are pre-drilled for string add-on. We recommend using unwaxed dental floss. They can't even provide you with the means of getting the egg out of your hoo-ha? You have to use unwaxed dental floss. You know, I've, I've seen the cover for that movie Teeth and I don't think that's what they, I don't think that's what they mean. Then we get the rose quartz egg, which you know when you're looking at them, if somebody was all like, oh, it's like a charm or something, I'd be like, oh, it's cute. It's really expensive, but it's cute. Then you know what it's for. Um, this says made of heart activating rose quartz associated with positive energy and love. This yoni egg is associated with the heart chakra. Be sure to follow instructions included with your egg. I don't know if they've removed the, the scientific information on this and this is just kind of what they're left with or if this is before they've removed that information. So basically people can get like all sorts of uh, very serious issues by, by shoving stuff like this up their fucking vagina. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? 
you put that up your vag? And it's not doing anything. Let's just keep that in mind too. Uh, the other thing that they were in trouble for was the flower essence, which they claimed would cure depression, which I guess you really can't do in the state of California. Let's look that one up. Flower essence. So that one's actually just completely gone off the website as far as I can tell, unless it's like part of the, something else. It's like you get this and it has flower essence that cures depression or if they decided that that one just really could not be, you know, s substantiated in any way, uh, shape or form. They maintain that it was an honest disagreement that they do have scientific backing, but you know, they'll, they'll just pay it off to, to make it go away and so that they can keep business going as usual. And they've got all sorts of other crazy ass shit on this website. Like their shoes, like when I looked up the Jade egg, if I just looked up Jade, you got these Jade kitten heel mule with bow, which are shoes complete with mood lifting equation with matching metallic dress. They are claiming that these shoes can, can boost your mood. Like my mom likes shoes as, as much as the next person. And I know that buying a fresh pair makes her happy, but I don't think you can say scientifically that the shoes you're wearing are, are linked to your mood. She's just like, oh goodness, I wore my Vans today. I should have, I needed to wear my political statement Nikes and I fucked up. So yeah, this entire website is basically just like filled with insane stuff. Like at first it's just kind of like, oh, it's like, you know, a beauty website with some like health tips. Oh, it's telling you, you know, healthier ways to eat and blah, blah, blah. Then you get to the people that are gonna shove stuff up their hoo-ha. Um, and like I said, there's the bee sting therapy that was really weird. And uh, they, they have the, uh, I, I remember that smoothie. I think Buzzfeed did the thing where they were gonna try all of these different Gwyneth Paltrow goop things. And the, uh, the moon rock stuff actually made them sick. Like the moon dust stuff, like they all got really sick on it. Um, mixed results with the vaginal steaming, I think they said they got. So honestly, when I saw this lawsuit happening, I was really hoping it was gonna shut down goop as a whole, or at least some of it. I, I thought that the, the eggs would at least be gone, but they're not. Um, and what's kind of harmful about this is that a lot of people see people like Gwyneth Paltrow and they just believe them. They take their word on anything they say because they're celebrities. And it's not just kids. It's, it's very easy for kids to have celebrity worship. That's definitely a thing. And there's a lot of people that, you know, I look up to in, in the in the celebrity world that I that I that I like. And if they, they put out new projects, I go watch them. But I, I think with everything that's happened, I'm definitely more disillusioned to the, the like, I, I'm fully aware that everybody has the capacity to be a shitty person. Um, but there are a lot of like older women out there or people that are lost and looking for themselves, or maybe just have too much goddamn money and not enough brain power to put out there that they see stuff like this and they think it's gonna work. It's like, oh, you know, I'm all for, you know, off the cuff, uh, therapies. I'm all for, you, you know, like different, trying different things. And I'm not against that. There's t all sorts of stuff out there you can take that's good for you. That's a little bit more natural than, you know, natural ways to help with anxiety. If you're not the type of person who has like an actual full blown anxiety disorder, like, you know, making sure you keep up with your vitamins. So you just overall feel better in life. But when it comes to like this kind of crazy ass shit, this is dangerous. This should not be put out there. Like there is no way that a website should be able to say that putting a some kind of porous material up your hoo-ha is gonna help center your heart or something and whatever other kind of scientific weird psychobabble that they have going on there. Like the whole website is pseudoscience and like luckily they, they lost this, but it was just a lawsuit. They just had to pay something off. It did the, the lawsuit, as far as I can tell, the only thing they achieved was that they're not allowed using like scientific lingo on certain products. That doesn't stop them from selling it. That doesn't stop them from like implying what it's supposed to do. And it doesn't stop her from like running her mouth behind the scenes being like, oh, I love doing this because it helps center me in this way and this way. You know, you can't prove that it does this, but it makes me feel so good. So if you have somebody like that endorsing products, it doesn't really matter what the website says necessarily. But yeah, Goop Health. In Goop Health, it's insane. Um, if you if you want a good laugh, check out their website. Cause at first it looks pretty non-threatening. You know, it wasn't like the Alex Jones stuff. Like when you immediately looked at it, it was all like, take these testosterone boosters. Otherwise you're gonna get the gay from the water. It wasn't like that. It wasn't as immediately in your face as I thought it was gonna be. But then you look, you start looking through things or you start searching words. And then you notice the things that are like, oh, that should just be an article of clothing. They are trying to say that that clothing can do something for you on a, spiritual and body level. And that's just insane. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll catch you all later.